Okay, let's start then with the seven principles. And the first one, obviously, is to be proactive. And what fascinates me is that it, it jives with this notion that you're not a captive of your past. Right. Describe that for us. Well, most people tend to become deterministic, that they are a captive of their past or of their present circumstances or of uh, the social weather that surrounds them or their physical weather. For their family. Their family, their upbringing, what my parents did to me and so forth. The question I often ask uh, is, are you a product of nature or nurture? And almost everyone says it's nurture or a combination. And I try to make a point that it's neither. It's a product of choice, because you can choose your response to both nature and nurture. You could have, for instance, a genetic disease inside you and never get it, simply because you make the lifestyle choices of the proper food and exercise and medicine, or you could have been abused as a child. You don't have to abuse your own child. You have the power to reinvent yourself. That's not so with animals. So the space between stimulus and response is the freedom to choose your response. Let's stop for a second and focus on the space between the stimulus, if you will, or whatever happens to you in your life, and then your response. What, is that a, a, a minute second in most instances? Is it something we can expand? Absolutely, we can expand it. But with some people that have been, say, powerfully deprived or rejected, or think maybe this very little space, see, with others that have had very affirming unconditional love growing up and so forth, they could have a very large space. The point is, however small or large the space is, it can get larger if you will take responsibility and initiative and focus on it and use it little by little. It gets larger and larger until eventually your response changes the very stimulus of your life. That's why I say that leaders are not born or made, they are self-made. <laughs>